Okay, so for today lecture, we will talk about decision theory. Okay, so let's read. Uh, a decision process is a matter of selecting a single act among all available alternatives. A sound decision is likely to be arrived at if a careful deliberation is made. Making use of quantities in decision making helps great deals in minimizing mistakes. Some, of, some methods of computation should therefore be learned. Uh, mathematic, mathematical expectation or ME denoted by ME or expected value denoted by EB uh, parehas lang yan so pili na lang tayo ng gagamitin natin so I select expected value instead of mathematical expectation so I will use EB so what's that? mathematical expectation or expected value depends on two factors the first factor is the probability that the event will occur and the amount of money to receive. So, probability that the event will occur and the amount of money to receive. So, yun dalawang factor ng expected value. So, let's talk about the concept of probability. So, ano ba yung first factor? Is probability. The concept of probability. Probability is measure of certainty. The value of probability ranges from 0 to 1. And then yan, 0 to 1. If an event is certain to happen, the probability is 1 or 100%. Kapag yung event ay sigurado mangyayari, ang probability nun ay 1 or 100%. If an event is impossible to happen, the probability is 0. If the event is impossible to happen, the probability is 0. Okay, uh, the probability of success plus the probability of failure is equal to 1 or 100%. An example, if the probability that it will rain is 60%, the probability that it will not rain is 40%. So, yung probability ng success is 60 na uulan. So, it's understood na yung probability na hindi uulan ay 40%. Kasi nga 60% yung probability na pag-ulan. If you add that, that is 100%. Okay? How to compute ME or EB? O EB tayo. If P represents the probability value and X represents the amount of money, then the probability is P times X or P multiplied to x. Again, p is the probability and x is the amount of money. If several events are expected to happen, with each event having its own amount of probability, then your eb is equals to p sub 1 times x sub 1 plus p sub 2 times x sub 2 plus dot 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 up to p sub n times x sub n. Mangyayari yan kapag may, may mas maraming events na involved sa problem. Makikita mo mamaya yan. Note, expected value, note natin, no? expected value is sometimes negative. That is, if the person will tend to lose instead of gain. Okay? Okay, so, so yun ay lahat nung kailangan nating malaman about this topic. So, First is the probability. Describe na sa concept ng probability kung ano ba yung probability. May tinatawag na probability of success at failure na kung saan pag inad mo yan dapat 1 yun or 100%. Lagi yun. Okay? Okay, good. So let's have example number 1. Or sample problems. Number Problem number 1. Number 1. Suppose that a pair of coin is tossed and one has to receive 4 pesos if it lands head and pays 6 pesos if, if it lands tail. Find EB or expected value. Okay, so to find EB or expected value of that problem, alam natin that there are two events here. There are two events here. So P1 and P2. Pero para mas 
friendly yung ating notation PH tsaka PT P sub T so PH is the probability that heads comes out and PT is the probability that tails comes out okay uh, <clears throat> probability that the if you have a pair of coin so dalawa yung page ng coin so you want head sa coin na yun, isa lang yung head and the number of up outcomes is 2 so pwedeng dalawa yung lumabas, kaya the probability of getting a head is 1 half the same with the probability of getting a tail okay, pero yung x sub 1 natin at x sub 2 natin magkaiba, kasi sabi niya kapag nag land ng head makakakuha ka ng 4 pesos, you will receive 4 pesos Okay? If you will pay 6 pesos. If you will pay 6 pesos, that is negative 6. Kasi you will pay. If you receive, that is positive. Kapag gastos, that is negative. Okay? So, our EB, because there are two events, we have P1, X1, plus P2, X2. So, ano ibig sabihin niyan? P2. P sub 1, probability 1 times the amount of money number 1 plus yung probability ng second probability times the amount of money. Okay? So that is let, let natin let na lang natin yung 1 is yung head, yung, yung 2 is yung tail. So 1 half of 4 plus another 1 half of negative 6. So, that is 2 plus negative 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So, that is negative 1. So, your EB is negative 1. Okay? Uh, dahil pero yung pinag-uusapan natin, negative 1 peso. Okay, anong ibig sabihin niya? The player of this game is tend to lose is tend to lose okay so tend to lose instead of gain okay Number two. Suppose a manager has to decide uh, whether to accept accept a bid or not. If he accepts the bid, the company may gain 2 million pesos if it succeeds or lose uh, 1.5 million pesos if it fails. The probability that it will succeed is 30%. Okay. So, PS tsaka PL. Okay. Let me explain this one. So, binigay yung probability that the, that the bid will be successful. That is 30%. So, understood, kahit hindi binigay yung probability of failure, that is 70%. Which is equals to 0.3 and this is point, this is point 0.7 now ating ps tsaka ay uh, x sub s x sub f now ating pag nagsucceed 2 million pesos kapag nagfail is malulugi ng 1.5 million pesos okay so our eb again is p sub 1 x sub 1 plus p sub 2 x sub 2 so this is success 0.3 times 2 million plus 0.7 times negative 1 million 500 ok so what's that so, what's your EB? So, your EB, ko lang. 
0.3 times the median plus minus 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 0.7 uh, times Okay, so your EB is negative versus sign 450,000. Okay, so the company is 10 to lose. Okay, so ito yung sagot. Uh, you, need, you need to identify or explain kung ano yung ibig sabihin na negative or positive. Kung positive yan, tend to gain yan. Okay? Next, number three. In a game, involving a roll of a single die. Yun die, yung pagdalawa dice. Yung, yung cube na may numbers 1 to 6. Alam mo na yan na kung saan yung number one ay pula. Okay? The following rules have been agreed upon. I pay one peso for each roll of the die. If a six comes out, I receive five pesos. If a five comes out, I receive 2.5. And if four or two comes out, I receive two pesos. I receive nothing for 1 or 3. Find my EB. So, meron tayong ilang events dito. Uh, when 6 comes out, when 5 comes out, when 4 or 2 comes out, tsaka yung uh, 1 or 3. So, may apat tayong events. So, P1, P2, P3, P4. Okay, event number 1 is when 6 comes out. Ito, 6. So, the probability of getting 6 when you roll a single die is 1 over 6. So, isa lang naman yung 6 doon over the total number of outcomes. Event number 2, when, when, when 5 comes out, uh, that is another 1 over 6. Isa lang ang 5 doon. Event number 3, when 4 or 2 comes out. So, dalawa over anim, which is 6, that is 1 third. The probability is 1 third. The last, prob the last event is when 1 or 3 comes out. That's another 2 over 6 and that is another 1 third. Okay, so we have x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4. Okay, now, take note that you pay 1 peso for each roll of, a die, of the die. So, kung dumabas yung 6, yung 6 sa uh, pagro-roll ng die, makakareceive ka raw ng 5. Yes. So, makakareceive ka ng 5 sa event number 1, pero nagbayad ka ng piso. So, ma-minus natin yan. 4 lang. Okay, ganun din sa iba. So, pag yung 5 dumabas or comes out, uh, that is 2.5 minus 1. That's 1.5. Uh, this is 2 minus 1. That is 1. You will receive nothing when 1 or 3 comes out. Pero that is 0 minus 1. Wala kang nakuha. Minus 1 kasi nagbayad ka. That is negative 1. Okay, so let's compute our EB. EB is P1, X1 plus P2, X2 plus P3, X sub 3 plus P sub 4, X sub 4. So this is 
1 over 6 of 4 plus another 1 over 6 of 1 over 6 of 1.5 plus 1 third of 1 uh, plus 1 third of negative 1. Obviously, this is cancel. Maka-cancel niya, magiging 1 third plus negative 1 third. So, this is uh, 2 over 3 plus 1.5 over 6. So, that is 2 over 3 plus um, 1.5 over 6. That is 11 over 12, which is approximately 92.92. That's your EB. So, the gain is favorable, favorable, favorable to the player, to the player, okay, or the player is tend to gain, that's the same thing, okay, that's your EB, okay, next, so we have three simple example, medyo sa number 3 lang tayo nagka, nagkaroon ng masyadong maraming events, kasi nga ang daming pwede mangyari dyan, apat, okay, nasa problem yan, by the way, no, ito yung probability natin. Yung P1 natin, 1 over 6. Another 1 over 6. Plus 1 third. Tsaka 1 third. Pag in ko to, 2 third. That is, pag in ko yan, 2 over 6, that's 1 third. Plus in mo to, 2 third. Plus in mo yung 1 third, 3 over 3. That is one. And that is good. Because the, sum, the, sum, the summation of all the events should be equal to the uh, 2 to 1. Okay? 100%. Yun yung lagi nyo tarandaan. Kahit yung mga nauna, this is 1. Ito rin ay 1. 1 half plus 1 half is 1. Okay? So done for that uh, simple decision problem. So let's talk about another representation of decision problem. This is what you call decision tree. In making a decision, it is most hel helpful to use decision tree. The branches of the tree represent the alternatives. A decision tree is a physical representation of a decision situation. It provides an overview of the total process, thereby helping a decision maker examine possible outcomes. In a decision tree, okay, let rectangle, so we have rectangle here, uh, decision point this is the decision point rectangle is what you call the decision point or the place where a choice must be made okay that's the description of that uh, that figure decision point is the place where a choice must be made while a circle is a chance event or expected value so this is chance event or expected value. Okay. Uh, the circle is the point where the possible outcomes are beyond the control of the decision maker. Probabilities are involved in the chance event. Okay. So, may dalawang figure lang tayo. So, meron tayong rectangle, square, pares lang yun, uh, and circle. Okay. So, let let show you the first example. I will show you the, the first example of this decision tree analysis. Uh, by the way, this is DTN. Decision tree analysis. Okay, a casual employee who is not feeling well due to a severe cold has to decide whether to go to work or stay home in rest. If he goes to work, he, there is a 50% chance of getting sick and spend 400 pesos for medicine. If he stays home in rest, he will be deducted a 780 pesos from his salary for his absence 
uh, should he go to work or rest? So, ito yung tanong. Uh, pasok ba siya or magpapahinga? So, let's say na nakadepende sa EB yung magiging decision niya. So, the word start is very important. Ito yung DT decision tree. Ang gagawin natin, is start So, uh, this is the decision point. Ito yung nagbibigay ng decision sa employee, casual employee. So, meron siyang choice. Dalawa. Ito yung go to work o ito yung rest. Okay, kapag nag-rest siya, deducted 780. So, that is negative 780 pesos. Okay, so that's it. Pag nagpahinga siya, madededuct siya ng 780 pesos sa, sa, sa sweldo niya. Okay, pero pag pumasok siya, may pwedeng mangyari. So, that is a chance event. Pwedeng magkasakit siya, tuluyan, at pwede namang umuwi siyang okay. Sabi dito, 50% chance of getting sick. So, 50 to. Dahil 50 yung getting sick, automatic, 50 rin yung probability na magiging okay siya. Kaya lang, may dalawang pwedeng mangyari. No? Pag nag pumasok siya at nagkasakit siya, syempre sa sweldo siya ng 780, pero bibili siya ng gamot. Dahil bibili siya ng gamot, uh, magkano yun? Oh, 400 yung medicine na bibili niya. Minus 400. That is 380. Okay? Kung sakali namang uh, hindi siya hindi siya magkakasakit, uh, buo niyang may uuwi yung 780 for that day. Okay? Huwag yun ang tanongin kung bakit 780 kasi hindi ba siya namasahe? Wala naman sa problem yun. Kaya huwag yun natin pag-usapan yung wala sa problem. Ang pinag-uusapan lang dito is yung nasa given. Okay? Sir, di ba namasahe yan? Sir, di ba kumain? Nandun na tayo. May baon. Okay? Tuloy na natin. So, our, this is our EB. So, we need to compute our EB. EB is P1X1 plus P2X2. So, P1 is 380 times the probability of getting sick is 1 half or 0.5 or 1 half or 50%. 780 times 1 half. So, yung 1 half ng 380 is 190. Tama ba? 1 half ng 380 is 390. Plus, yung kalahati ng 780 is 390. Okay. So, pag inad mo yan, 0, 580. So, yan yung expected value. So, from that, uh, i-box mo yan, hahanapin ko yan. Eh. <clears throat> Tapos, lagay mo dito, 580 pesos. So, compare mo yung 580 pesos sa negative, sa negative 780. Of course, you will choose the positive. 580. Okay? So, huwag mo na lagay yung 580. Lagay mo na lang yung dapat nang gawin. You need to go, go to work. Ito yung decision mo for that event. Okay? Explain lang natin dito. So, ating conclusion Uh, the casual employee ay, no. the, the conclusion should always start with I suggest I suggest that the casual employee should go to work okay bakit? Kasi mas mataas yung EB ng pagpaso kaysa sa pagpapahinga. Na, tsaka yung, yung 
pwedeng kinakamad lang siya niya. Kaya 50-50. No? Okay, next. Example number 2 for DTA, Decision Tree Analysis. A student is given an option to take the final test or getting a grade of 75. If he takes the test and passes, he will be given a grade of at least 84. A minimum rating he needs for his scholarships. If he takes the test and fail, he will definitely be, be given a grade of 70. The probability of his failing the test is 80%. Grabe. Uh, help the student decide by using the three diagram. Okay, so start tayo. Decision point. Okay. Pwede lang, ito yung i-deal niya na lang. May 75% siyang grade or mag-test siya. Pag nag-test siya, may pwedeng mangyari. Pwede siyang pumasa. Pwede siyang bumagsak. But the probability of failing the test is 80%. So therefore, 20% yung chance lang na papasa siya. Kapag pumasa siya, 84 minimum. Let's say 84 na lang. Ang kanyang grade. Exacto yun. No? Scholarship niya. Pero pag bumagsak siya, anong grade? 70. Okay. So, check natin kung ano may decision ito. EB is P1 X1 plus P2 X2. P1 is 0.2 times 84 plus 0.8 times 70. So what will be 0.2 times 84? 0.2 times 84 plus 0.8 times 70. Okay. The grade is 72.8 or approximately 73. So let's say 73. Okay. So alam mo na yung ibig sabihin niya. I-deal niya na lang. Oh yes? Oh yes, mawawala yung scholarship niya. That based on AB, at least pasado siya. It's a good choice. Kasi nga, 80% yung chance na babagsak siya. So, i-deal niya na lang ng 75. Mawala yung scholarship niya, pero pasado siya. Okay? So, conclusion natin, decision. I suggest that the student should accept the deal. Since EB of deal is greater than sa EB ng mag-test siya. Okay? Our last example, a young lady na maganda din. A young lady has to decide which marriage proposal to accept. Whether that of suitor A or of suitor B. She has equal feelings toward both suitors. Ang hirap maniwala pero nasa problem. She has equal feelings toward both suitors. Equal feelings daw. However, malandi, no? However, uh, somebody advised her to consider consider her future economic condition. She knows that A receive A Suitor A receives a monthly pay of 45,000 pesos. And considering his good qualities, she is 60% certain that she would be happy. 60% di pogi. Suitor B has a monthly pay of 35,000 pesos. And she feels she is 95% uh, certain that she would be happy. 
if she uses her chances of becoming happy to find her expected value, which suitor is better for her? Uh, may habol na. Let zero be the expected amount of being unhappy since money has no value for an unhappy person. Okay. Start natin. Tulungan natin itong young lady na to. So start. Decision. Tapos, ito si young lady ah. Tapos mayroon siyang dalawang mandiligaw. Si A at si B. So, may pwedeng mangyari. Pag in niya si A. Pwedeng happy siya. Pwedeng sad. Okay? Happy, anong probability na maging happy? 60% lang. Ito, automatic, 40%. So, that is 1. Uh, pag happy siya, 45k a month. Kapag unhappy siya, sabi dito, zero daw eh. Sinabi niya yun. So, zero. Ah, let, let me call this EB1. Okay, so sa si Sutor B naman, dalawa din yung pwede mangyari, happy tsaka sad. Happy is 95, tama ba? EB, okay, 95%. So, 5% lang yung pagiging sad niya. So, pag happy siya, meron siyang 35,000 naman. Nakita. So, again, this is it. Let me call this EB2. So, compute natin yung EB1. P1, X1, plus P2, X2. So, P1 is 0.6 of 45,000 plus 0.4 of 0. Again, that is it. So, that is 45,000 times 0.6. 27,000 pesos. Ito yung EB1. Pwede mo ilagay dito 27,000. Okay, so EB2 is P1 X1 plus P2 X2. This is 0.95 times 35,000 plus 0 0.05 times 0. That is 0. 0.95 times 35,000 is 33,250 pesos. Oops. Oh. Ito ay EB. EB. EB2. So, natin. 33,250. So, compare. Compare natin. So, conclusion natin dito. Okay. I suggest that the young lady must accept the marriage proposal of Sutor B. Since the EB of Sutor B is greater than EB of Sutor A. Okay? So, that's all about decision 3, analysis. So, may tatlong example tayo. So, nandiyan na yung Nandiyan na yung inyong video na yun. Uh, panuorin nila mabuti kung may tanong. Uh, bago magtanong, bigyan nyo ng panahon. Kasi hindi mo pwedeng, pag di mo alam, magtanong ka agad. Hindi. Baka may chance, may chance na balikan mo. Tapos 
may namiss kang word or ano, kung ano man yun, so nandyan lang naman yun. Nandyan lang yun. Video naman yun dito. Pwede mong balik-balikan, pwede mong i-hit to. Sabayan mo ng computation. So, ikaw na bahala. Okay? So, that's all for today's video. Mag-ingat ang lahat. Mag-aral mabuti. Bye.